Well, and one of the things, though, to to protect yourself as as a client is turning on some of the time-based temporary addressing features of IPv6. I mean, I I run IPv6 on my systems at home, and you know, each each Ethernet interface has like five uh, or or ten. IPv6 addresses assigned to it, and a number of them are time-based. They, they, the the middle pieces are generated randomly, and they, you know, uh, the the system assigns it to one of its interfaces, and uses that for some period of time, and then changes it. You know, servers, if you are going to want them, you know, to get b- traffic on IPv6, they're going to have static addresses but the clients if you're trying to be relatively anonymous you know you you want to make sure you're turning on the time-based temporary addressing so that you're getting new addresses periodically if you're trying to track malicious uh, clients in your enterprise you're actually going to hope they're using static ipv6 or something that you're assigning them via dhcp v6 or something but for your home users and and folks trying to stay relatively anonymous on the internet, to turn on the the time based addressing. Right, right. All right. You know, uh, just an interesting thing about that. I mean, would be it would make an interesting at least discussion at some point. Would be to talk about the the IPv6 and scanning. I mean, just like you guys were talking about before. Like, what does what does scanning look like? once you move into a full IPv6 world, because um, yeah. that changes things quite a bit. And right. Be interesting. I think you're going to need to use yeah. techniques like this, yeah. because we don't have uh, fast enough internet or uh, you know, fast enough machines to scan <laughs> that type of space. Like right. Jim was saying, it would take probably years to try to do the entire IPv6 right. space or whatever. Yep. Um, I don't really know what it is, but it's not. you can't do it in hours like you can with IPv4. No.